How are you? My God, you, you, you've been off the scene for what, uh, 10 years? None of it is real. The critics aren't real. The customers aren't real. Because this isn't real. I'm sorry, do you need medical attention? No, thank you. Wow. All right. So Nicolas Cage, my man, Nicolas Cage, uh, just had his new movie come out this weekend, um, Pig. And um, I got to say, I, I was not expecting this movie to go down the way it went down. The trailer, I will say, was very misleading. Uh, you know, it, it gave you this feeling that shit was just gonna go down, you know, like he was, his pig gets taken away from him, and he's about to fucking bring the vengeance, it's gonna be like John Wick, but like, old man, grandpa, Nicolas Cage, old man, Santa Cage, Wick, I mean, I was ready, but... So let's just get into this movie because, yeah, it was nothing what, like what I was expecting it to be. I was really expecting it to be like a thriller or a horror, but more or less a thriller at least, you know, get me like at the edge of my seat. But honestly, this movie was just kind of slow. It it did drag in some parts, but they were intriguing. Uh, I, I went through some of Nicolas Cage's interviews for the film uh, and, and just to see like what exactly his thought was. But apparently this movie is pretty much just a love story between a man and his animal. And, you know, Nicolas Cage had said during the pandemic that a lot of people became closer with their animals. So he just wanted this movie to be kind of like I said, it, the, the trailer made you think it was going to be a John Wick style movie where he was just going to go around fucking people up trying to get his pig back. And it just wasn't. But, you know, it was, it was just about a man who has this pig um, and he's just a recluse. He lives in the in the forest, uh, has his own little hut and stuff. And, you know, he's really, really disconnected from reality. But, you know, like I said, Nicolas Cage, his performance is a 10 across the board. Um, most of the people in this movie all give really good performances, minus uh, Alex Wolf, who is also in this movie. And like I said in my Hereditary review, I just don't, I'm not really a fan of that actor. And I don't know what it is about him. And he's going to be in M. Night Shyamalan's Old this weekend. I'm pretty excited for that. But like, you know... Uh, he's just not one of them. He's, I, I just don't really care for him as an actor. And in this movie, he really didn't do anything. He was pretty much being led around by Nicolas Cage the whole time, going here, going there for Nicolas Cage. And, you know, it's just nonsense. But all right, so let's get into the film. So, like I said, it starts off uh, where he's just this recluse, Nicolas Cage, and he's, you know, living with his pig. And he it's a truffle pig, so he uses the, the, the pig to find truffles, and Alex Wolf is, like, his dealer, and he sells, you know, mushrooms to to people or whatever. And uh, one night, these guys come in and they fucking break into his place and they steal his fucking pig. Fucking assholes. Like, who does that? Who steals a man's pig, you know? And uh, the whole movie is then him trying to get his pig back. And there's a bunch of shit that I guess happens, but it's so just underwhelming. Like, you find out that he was apparently this world-renowned chef, or at least a chef well-known in his community, where he, like trained people and like he did all this shit and everyone's tried his food and he's like amazing cook and all this shit so i don't they don't really understand they explain why he walked away from all that why he left to the forest to be reclusive away from being a great chef but that's what he did so it's kind of cool because he goes through all these avenues that he had as a chef apparently to try to find out what happened to this pig, but they're just so ominous with like why all these things are going on. Like it's only following Nicolas Cage, but all the shit that's going on, you're like, whoa, what's going on here? What's going? Like he goes to this like random underground like punching ring where they just like punch homeless people, and the homeless people get paid for it. Like people can just take out their anger on these homeless people and beat them up, and he goes there to like find information or some shit. Super random. So that's why he's all fucking bloody because he let himself get punched a couple times, but he also did take a bat to the face in like the beginning when they stole his pig so that was pretty legit but so pretty much he goes like trying to find the damn pig and it culminates with you finding out that alex wolf's character who his like you know his his friend uh alex wolf's father paid to like get his pig kidnapped for some reason and like you know didn't 
I don't know, like, they, for some reason, like, they really don't explain why exactly he does it, but he does it, and then, like, Nicolas Cage has this, like, conversation with him, like, oh, you know, like, oh, he makes him, like, food, and he's like, I made food for everybody, and, like, everyone loves my food, and the guy, like, eats his food, and, like, breaks down crying, and he's like, I'm sorry, we kidnapped your pig, but he died while we had him in captivity, because we probably didn't feed him, or we were fucking assholes, so his pig pretty much got, like, his pig pretty much died, and the whole movie, he's trying to find his poor pig and he finds out the pig's dead so that pretty much pissed me off but so like i said i was really hoping that he would have john wicked it and got his pig back but i still love you nicholas cage but uh pig was eh, it was all right